Medical marijuana is already legal in several American states, and the industry is raking in tons of money. But American companies are still struggling with the science behind cannabis plants, and now they're turning to Israel for help. U.S. firms are increasingly farming out cannabis research and development to Israel. The Jewish state is turning into an industry leader because of its highly developed agricultural technology and liberal approach to marijuana studies. U.S. investors still aren't sure how to make the most out of cannabis plants, and they're turning to Israel to answer the question. If you're in California, or you're from the state I'm from, Colorado, you're getting medical marijuana. You're getting it from, in a lot of cases, somebody who did not graduate high school. They're making your medicine. There's no science. There's no anecdotal evidence. Israel's a leader in agriculture. And then you take that and couple it with what Professor Mishulam did at Hebrew University and continues to do, and other researchers, you have the two sides. You have the plant sciences, and you have the pharmaceutical development and real science. In fact, Hebrew University professor Rafael Mechaulam is considered by many to be a pioneer in the study of medical cannabis. Cannabis is very promising, but it is difficult, it's complicated, and uh, if somebody thinks that he can get into medical cannabis and make millions tomorrow morning, it's, uh, from my understanding, not so simple. He has to be based on good science, well, maybe good business uh, practice and so on, but which should be based on good science. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration has set strict rules that have prevented many needed cannabis studies, especially since the U.S. legal marijuana market earns about $5.7 billion annually and is expected to grow to $23 billion by 2020. Now Israeli leaders in the cannabis industry are taking on the booming market with full force by launching an annual conference called Canatech to focus on accelerating cannabis technology. Since 2014, U.S. companies have invested about $50 million in licensing Israeli medical marijuana devices, and that number could double this year. I see money in the room. Uh, billions of dollars came to see what's going on in Israel. And they, uh, unfortunately, in two days, we can only show the tip of the iceberg. Uh, but it gets them excited enough to, to actually put their money behind what's going on in research here. We find that the level of capital efficiency here is great. There's an industrious group of people here. What you could take and spend a half a million dollars on in the U.S., you could usually get for $125,000 or $150,000 in Israel, and it's going to be done efficiently and on time. So I find that the quality of the research here is world class. Uh, the arbitrage of value is good. Even though marijuana is still an illegal substance in the Holy Land, Israeli laws are liberal when it comes to research. This lets growers work in close cooperation with scientific institutions to conduct clinical trials and develop a variety of strains to treat a range of illnesses and disorders. Eventually, cannabis might even be legal in Israel. Health Minister Yaakov Lutzman has recently come out in support of medical cannabis usage in the Holy Land and has introduced steps to simplify and ease its sale for medical uses. So far, 23,000 Israelis have permits from the Health Ministry to purchase medical cannabis, and that number is expected to grow. As Israel continues to take the lead in medical marijuana research, we can only wonder what the future holds. What kind of Israeli cannabis products can the world expect? Sol K is the CEO of ICANN, an Israeli company bringing cannabis products to the global market. And he's here with more. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. So let's start with the big question. Why has Israel become such a leader in medical marijuana research? It's been a leader for over 40 years. Um, essentially, Prohibition in the U.S. in the 1930s cut down alcohol and cannabis at the same time. Alcohol came back, cannabis never did. However, in the 60s, Professor Meshulam at Hebrew University asked to study the properties of the plant and discovered not only the properties of the plant, but inside our body that we have a system ready to accept uh, the, cannabino the cannabinoids that come from the plant and have healing properties. Uh, so it's essentially just that the regulatory environment here has allowed it.
Right. And so you've now started this new conference called Canatech, um, and I think it's the second year, right? That's right. And so tell us about it. What, what kind of response are you getting from the public? Amazing. Our uh, idea was to bring innovation from Israel in the cannabis space to the world. As we are a research leader, we've had that ability. Uh, 450 people came from all over the world, 150 uh, from outside of Israel to meet the top researchers and entrepreneurs and see what's happening on the ground, uh, as someone called it, ground zero of cannabis research uh, in Israel. And that's what we wanted to show. And uh, together with that, we've uh, set up Israel's first private cannabis incubator, where because of the logistical and regulatory issues of touching a, a plant which is so heavily regulated, it's very hard to uh, get new innovation in the space. So we've actually set up a physical incubator where we can do testing inside Israel, licensed uh, together with one of our partners here in Israel, one of the growers and it's an amazing opportunity. And you guys can also connect investors Correct. to these innovators, right? That's so, right. you know, recreational marijuana use is illegal in Israel, uh, but medical marijuana use is permitted and it's even encouraged. What kinds of illnesses and, uh, and sicknesses has marijuana been used to treat? So we know the big ones, cancer, it, it decreases the nausea, um, allows people to feel better while getting these horrible chemotherapy uh, um, treatments. Parkinson's, ALS, neurological diseases, possibly shingles. We're about to investigate uh, in clinical trials uh, things re revolving around the liver, the kidneys, general pain. Everyone suffers from pain. Epilepsy, we've seen a big push in the US with epilepsy medications specifically for children. All of those are covered in Israel under the National Basket of Cannabis Health. And uh, Crohn's disease, a lot of the Ashkenazi type diseases. Interesting, uh, and also helped. psychological disorders that's as well, That's right, PTSD, right? depression, and PTSD in Israel is a particular topic that's, you know, very close to our heart because we live in a very high-stress environment. Our soldiers have an extremely high level of stress, and uh, PTSD, unfortunately, uh, comes from that, and there's a deep research showing not only can it treat, but it can help to prevent in the first place. Absolutely. So what kinds of symptoms and diseases do you think marijuana could treat in the future? Well, because of the endocannabinoid system, the system of receptors that we have in our body, those receptors are pretty much found in every um, procedure, in every organ. So the, the amount we can target cannabis medicine could be uh, unknown, but we know of things like diabetes that it can revolutionize, uh, obesity, um, there are so many opportunities. Obesity is a funny one. You hear people joke around about munchies and things like Correct. that, but... Right. We can change the plant. We can give you a very specific formulation of the ingredients inside the cannabis plant, which will promote less eating rather than more eating. Right. And we can tailor make your medicine for you on a genetic level. So in your opinion, what is the most interesting cannabis technology that's now being offered on the market, especially from Israel, and what's the coolest product that we're going to see in the future? So the product recently released, released at Canatech, was um, based on terpenes. Terpenes are the flavor and the smell behind cannabis, something you know and you, you see in Camden Market and in Amsterdam, but they have therapeutic effects as well. So they've isolated those compounds and rebuilt them into a formulation which can enhance cannabis use. Uh, especially in Israel where you're limited to the amount of cannabis that you get in the program, uh, having something can an enhance effect and immensely help you uh, to finish the month with your prescription medication. Interesting. So what would you say now to critics of marijuana who claim you know, it can be dangerous and impair your ability to function by smoking? Go back, relearn everything you've learned. The myths are all wrong. My partner Jason uh, suffers from cr chronic fatigue. And the only medicine through all the pharmacologicals, all the diet, all the habits that we tried to change, the only thing that helped for chronic fatigue was medical cannabis. So you expect medical cannabis to cause fatigue, to make you, you know, into couch lock. This does the exact opposite. So it's such a broad range of compounds that can do so many things. And we still need a lot of research and validation of, of the data. But that's why Israel is so important, because we can do that here. And it's the only place in the world that you can. Absolutely. Well, you know, you guys are doing a great job of trying to spread the message and, and you know, make people more aware of uh, the medical uses of cannabis. So great job and uh, hope to see you again. Yeah. Canatech next year. It's the place to be for cannabis innovation. Absolutely. Right.